Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest episode of Ahsoka, Episode 7. So, um, again, as always, if you don't like spoilers, I highly recommend pausing the video, watching the episode, and then coming back to watch this video. But for those of you who don't care, or have already seen it, welcome. So, this episode, we're going to be breaking up just a little bit. So, apparently Thrawn is getting ready for Ahsoka's um, arrival. Um, while that's going on, he's basically just making sure that Ahsoka... Uh, um, so he's not 100% sure it is Ahsoka, but he knows somebody is coming to the to his to his galaxy. And the Night Sisters are getting the idea that it is a Jedi. So he's assuming it is Ahsoka Tana, and he is getting things ready for her arrival. Thrawn really shows his intelligence here, and I will get into that in just a minute. So we have Ahsoka training on the ship, on her ship specifically. Uh, basically, she's getting um, lessons from... Anakin, specifically from his um, recordings that he made for her so she could practice all the forms. Now, uh, once that's over, um, he bas the droid basically tells Ahsoka that they're getting close because their speed is decreasing. So she gets into the, to the uh, what's it called, the bridge, and they realize that they start slowing down. What happens is all of a sudden there's a bunch of bogeys all around. Um, now, Ahsoka can feel it, and the scanner shows it. And apparently, what Thrawn had in mind was he decided to set off a, uh, tell his men to basically have a, a Imperial minefield out in the area that he thought that they were going to come in, and because of it, um, were actually hurting the Purgle. So she gets out of the Purgle, and they start going off, um, the Purga were destroying a lot of the mines, so Ahsoka was able to dodge a lot of them. They decided to go back into hyperspace. It is unclear where they went, but they went into hyperspace and left. So Ahsoka had to dodge all of that, along with the fact that she was getting attacked by a fleet of fighters that Thrawn um, decided to go after her because he knew she was going to be able to survive... Um, the minefield. So anyway, um, all that's happening. Ahsoka avoids them and hides in the debris field. Um, Thrawn orders his men to back off. Um, the night sister that was from the Mandalorian was asking Thrawn why he was doing it, and he basically explained to her that um, she's not going anywhere, and we know exactly where she's going to be going once she wants to. And he gets all the information on Ahsoka that he was looking for. And he finds out exactly who her master was, which he knows both of her masters. And this is a weird thing to say, but he knows that Anakin was her master, which means he also knows that Darth Vader was also one as well for her. Now, I know it's going to sound weird when everyone's like, well, she wasn't her master. You're correct, but... It was because of him being Darth Vader that she trained much more in other ways to be able to stop her old master. So, for some fun facts there. Um, so, anyway, he basically says that she's going to be unpredictable just like her master, and it is not even worth the time to be dealing with her right this second. So, on the ground, um, Ahsoka, I mean, um. Sabine and Ezra are talking, and she still has not told Ezra how she got there or how they're going to get home either. And I think Ezra's aware of what's going on to a certain degree. I don't think he knows fully, but I'm pretty sure he's noticing that obviously something's up. Now, they're not really talking about it, but they continue on. That's when they get attacked by the Raiders, but one of the big things here is they get attacked by the Raiders, and Balin decides not to join the fight. He tells his apprentice to go down and deal with it. And he explains to her that if you keep seeking victory, you will fail. Um, so, and then he decides to leave. But he also watches for a bit, too, just for an FYI. So anyway, the Night Sisters on, uh, on Thrawn's ship are asked by Thrawn to find Ahsoka. 
They use their night magic and find her, and they start bombarding the area. Ahsoka real, uh, uses the Force to connect to Sabine. She then knows where she is, and she goes down. Avoids all the blasting. Barely. And she orders the droid to deal with the fighters while she goes down to help the group. So she comes down, and she's in the presence of Valen, and he basically tells her she's not allowed to interfere. And the two of them fight. Um, Ezra refuses. So in the in the battle with the bandits and the apprentice, um, Sabine tries to give him his lightsaber back, and he refuses. He goes, "The Force is my friend. I can deal with this. You 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 betrayed me with it, meaning his lightsaber. So you use it." And he has taken out people left and right like it is his job. Like, he took out bandits with just the force and his fighting skill alone. And he does so. And then he starts fighting the apprentice, and he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with her without a lightsaber, and she has a lightsaber. So then she comes down, and the apprentice is feeling like she's going to lose. And that's when Thrawn orders his sh um, two platoons of uh, stormtroopers which I think are called something else at this point, but I don't, I can't for the life of me remember. Dark Troopers or Night Troopers, I forget what they are. But anyway, not the point. Um, and they start opening fire. And they continue their fight. Um, however, um, the droid blasts the area where Balin and Ahsoka are, and Ahsoka escapes and goes to help the group. She then uses the Force, knocks out a bunch of men, um, and they start taking them out one by one. Balin makes a decision on whether or not he's going to stay and fight Ahsoka or do what he wanted to do to begin with. And he goes and does whatever the heck... Excuse me. He does whatever the heck he wants wanted to do to begin with. So, um, they, they're fighting, and Thrawn is realizing that they're losing, so he orders them all away. And the Night Sister is like, what are you doing? Like, we, we, we're losing? They're reunited, and, and, and we've lost from the enemy, so basically we've lost. And he's like, no, we have time on our side. We only need a few more crates, and then we're out of here, and we will not be wasting any more time. So it ends with the Apprentice and the uh, Stormtroopers escaping. The droid with the ship comes back, and um, Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine are reunited, and that's how the episode ends. Um, so there's only one episode that remains, which means we are going to probably see a very big fight between Thrawn's army, the Night Sisters, and all, versus Ezra, Sabine, and Ahsoka. I still feel that this this is going to end with Thrawn escaping, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Overall, very excited to see what's going to happen. I mean, there is only one episode left, and um, it has been so good so far. I hope it continues with this next episode. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not? And let me know why. And as always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great night.